In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to knot Keshi pearls into this twisted design uh, necklace and also how to attach to um, a sterling silver toggle clasp. Uh, now the kit has several strands of pearls in these two beautiful different colours. It also includes um, sterling silver toggle clasps and natural silk uh, with the needle already threaded on so it's really easy to use. Okay, So to get started we're going to need a few um, things. We're obviously going to need the kit with the uh, various strands of pearls which are absolutely beautiful. We are also going to need um, some flat nose pliers, some scissors, um, some hypo cement or a glue of your choice and obviously the silk uh, which comes in the kit. We've also got the toggle clasp which is included in the kit and uh, I've actually added in a sterling silver bead and a sterling silver crimp cover. Now I'll show you how we use these and we put them together to attach the clasp and to get that knotted design. So let's get going. In this demonstration I'm going to make a bracelet length of the, of the um, design um, but obviously for the necklace it's exactly the same you just adjust the length to your requirements. Okay so what I've done is I've threaded on on the silk and we've gone to the end of the silk the end without the needle so it's the opposite end to the needle and we threaded on a length of um, that we require for the bracelet and I've added on um, two or three just to make sure that I've got enough and um, because obviously the needle is at the other end and it makes things a little bit more difficult to add on so make sure you've got enough for your length either a bracelet or necklace I've then added on a silver spacer bead here on the end okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to place that down on the bench and then we bring in the toggle clasp so you decide which one you want to do first and then we're going to pass the silk through the toggle clasp and through the um, spacer bead. Okay, so we're going through the toggle and through the spacer bead. So I'm just going to just make sure that you know you, you do this quite slowly because we don't want the silk silk to knot. I'm going to hold the toggle now and pull that together. Right, okay. So now you see we've got the toggle at this end and we've got our strand here but we've also got this little tail at the end actually I'm going to make sure that I've got a little bit more there just to make sure that I've got enough I'm just going to pull this further up because as we knot it this will extend so this little little tail that we've got at the end here will reduce slightly okay right so now we've got our one side of the necklace and now we need to add our second second side so all we need to do now is bring in our um, different coloured beautiful Keshi um, pearls so we'll add on and now it's up to you now to decide um, how many you want on the necklace I think I did um, I think I did nine in between each knot so it's nine pearls in between each knot but obviously that's just um, personal choice so um, on this one I'm going to do let's have a look see how many we've got and what they look like so I've got four there I'll probably do um, probably do five or seven let's have a look right so five six and one one little one on the end a seven okay so now what we need to do is bring all of these pearls up to the top here so we've come across through the bead and now we're here okay so now we need to ca count seven so one two three four five six seven so we're about this point here so now all the other um, pearls that we've put on can move out of the way okay so now what we need to do is match up these here so we're going to bring them together and now I've, I'm going to actually bring in my little board this is actually a Kumahimo board if you've got a macrame board um, it's perfect for this so I'm going to use a T-pin and the board just so that it holds everything in, in place while I'm knotting it just makes uh, my life a little bit easier Okay. so now that's quite a, a good match in length so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overhand knot so I'm going to just make that overhand knot there and I'm going to bring that together okay 
and I'm just going to do another one just to make sure that that's nice and, and before you close that up just make sure that that silk is nice and tight there okay so there is our first section so now we we had we added seven there so two four six seven so there's our next line and as you see it's you've got the white pearls on this side but now I've knotted it the white pearls will be on this side so you get that nice twisted twisted effect I'll do one more little section so we're, we're going to add in another seven of the um, beautiful caches let me just bring a few in here they are gorgeous one two and three nice large one four five six and the final one seven and a nice small one there at the end so what i'm going to do now is bring those down so that they sit there so again we're going to just measure them to see whether they fit and that's quite a nice match so again I'm going to do an overhand knot and tie that and pull that quite tight so these all go nice and grouped together and one more and before we close that up just tighten that up again there so now we've got our, our second and as you see you get that twisted so the white is on that side and then it comes over to the right and on my next one it'll, it'll be twisted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue that to a bracelet length and then I'll come back and show you how we finish off right I've knotted to the length that I want for the bracelet and as you can see it looks as if the white pearls are sort of twisted around the beautiful silver pearls okay so when I've got to a length that I'm happy with for the bracelet take, bearing in mind that I've got to add a crimp cover and a toggle clasp so bear that in mind when you're measuring I've got a few extra pearls here on the end so I'm going to take those off okay so now we're at the, the, the to finish off section so what I'm going to do is I'm going to knot these this section just here at the end as, as we did with the others I'm going to knot them just to hold them hold them in place so again it's just simple overhand knots okay so now we've we've done that so now what we need to do now is add on our toggle our other end of the toggle class so the needle end is going to go through the um the bar of the toggle so now you see we've got our little tail here and we've got our tail here with the needle on our thread with the needle on at the toggle clasp end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the smaller um, tail just because it's easier to do and i'm going to knot at that point just there okay so if i knot that it's going to actually sit on top of the um the loop there and i'm not going to be able to get a crimp cover on there properly so i've done that little knot i'm then going to turn that over I'm just trying to move everything out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Let me move that round a little bit. If I actually pop in a T-pin at that end, it will probably hold everything in place. There we go. Right, so what I've done is turned it over and now we're going to bring the two threads to the top and I'm going to make a knot on, on the top there. So the knot will sit, if you see when I pull this in the, the knot then will sit below the um if i just bring that up you'll see the knot then will sit below that loop and it'll allow me enough room to put a, a crimp cover on there to mirror the other other end okay but before we finish that we need to make sure that it's nice and secure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put on a little um little bit of hypo cement onto the onto the knot just there so I'm just going to put that on there and I'm going to tie that again okay so we've got a nice double double knot I'm just trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing 
So you can see now there we have a nice knot which will be nice and secure once that glue has, has dried. Um, and then to finish off what we need to do is if I move this out of the way now, we don't need that anymore. So now we've got our section there. I mean you could turn it over and you could do another knot on the other side just to be doubly cautious. Um, but to be honest with you, that knot there is, is perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is bring everything together. Because, because obviously we, we don't want to cut this off until it's it's totally dry. We're going to bring everything together, the two, two threads together. And we're going to bring in a crimp cover. Okay, so I'm just going to try and hold everything. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. And then we're going to pop the crimp cover onto that knot. Hopefully I can get it on this way. I like to sort of put the crimp cover down and then put it on that way. Sorry, my hands are in the way, so you can't actually... But if you can see, if I turn it round, the crimp cover is in that position just there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is close up that crimp cover, try and get everything in there so it's nice and neat. Take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to close up that crimp cover. I'm going to nibble around that so it's nice and nice and neat. I don't want that to be too um, too squished. So just continue that so it's nice and neat. You've got your two little towels there, which I would leave um, to dry. For the demonstration, though, I'm just going to cut them off um, so you can get the, to see what it looks like. Okay. So now we've got a twisted design um, that won't come out of shape because it's knotted at, at several sections along the way. And, um, yeah, and it's got the, the um, beautiful, beautiful toggle clasp on there. So that's the um, the bracelet, and then that's the necklace um, to match there. So it's just a really nice way of knotting your keshi pearls. Um, and so you, you're using sort of a traditional method, but to get a sort of more modern um, contemporary look. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration, and um, I hope to see you soon.